Waymo Breakfast. The Radio Waymo Breakfast. Kiwi. Kiwi. Joining me now in the Kiwi studio, he's back once again. Uh, it's nice to have him back. It's uh, Justin Beard from Google. He's an innovationist at Google. Hello to, you, hello to you, Justin. Hey, how are you today? Good, thank you. Nice to, ha- nice to see you back in the studio. I really want to talk to you today about the big topic of um, South by Southwest, which of course is not just a music festival, it's also the interactive side as well on the internet. Um, it seemed to be the buzz, so to speak, was uh, social media, smartphones, and location awareness. Right, yes. Yeah. What, what is location awareness? Well, so uh, with regards to location awareness, apologies, I've got a bit of a cold, so my voice um, is probably even deeper for the radio. Today. Very nice, it's, it's good. Um, so the idea of the location awareness is actually bringing kind of uh, all the um, sort of, the, let's say, the physical context of um, where you are um, and connecting that um, with your kind of online presence. Right. So um, that kind of concept of, um, well, um, I'm in New Zealand right now. Um, what, wh- where are the friends that I have on my social graph? Are there other friends of mine that are um, here in New Zealand at the same time? Or if I got off a plane in Paris, France, um, you know, are some of my friends from uni there? So um, that ability to sort of connect um, not only socially kind of in the ether where you don't really know where people are, but then also tying that into where they are, where they're actually physically located as well. And what kind of technology is that using? Is it GPS? Um, yeah, well, so GPS is kind of the fu- one of the foundation components of that. Um, but there's also the ability to sort of um, update these things, um, uh, I guess, independent of the kind of physical um, hardware as well. So, for example, I mean, even on YouTube today, you can sort of say, this is where this video was taken. Yeah. Or um, if you're uploading something to Flickr or Picasa, you know, you can say, I took this picture in, in Rome, um, for example. Um, but then also there's some other interesting things out there, like um, there are, um, there's, a, there's a, a little SD card for your camera now that's called an iFi mm-hmm. card, and that literally has Wi-Fi built into it, and you can get location awareness directly from when you're taking the picture, for example. Okay. So apart from knowing where your friends are, I mean, is it, is it useful? Is it important? Oh, well, I mean, I think it's actually, I mean, it really adds a kind of layer of richness, you know, this kind of um, another layer of kind of functionality um, to it. And so, I mean, we have a couple of different things that we're doing in that area, um, both with um, Latitude, which is sort of like a map-based social network. Um, and that's something that we have on a, a bunch of different phones at the mm. moment, like with our Android operating system, but then also with iPhone and other smartphones. Mm. Um, and then also this kind of newer thing, which is called Buzz as well. Yeah. Now, so Buzz was um, released, uh, Was it, it was early on this year. I don't no, it's, see, it seems to be that um, that there was an initial, uh, you know, um, a lot of uh, media sort of talk about it, and then it's 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 kind of fallen into the background again. Is Buzz useful when it comes to location awareness? Um, yes. Well, so Buzz does have kind of the location awareness piece built into it, um, and uh, maybe uh, during the course of our. Uh uh, discussion today, I can show you how how useful that might be. Yeah, so so it's interesting because okay, Google's got into got in, into the social media realm. It's also got into the smartphone realm, and now the location awareness. So it's all really sort of seems to be coming together for for Google. Um, is it being realized on the new Google Android devices? Yes, yes. So the location awareness is something that's been um, available on those devices. So uh, not only on Android, but also on iPhone and some of ba- basically these, the smartphone devices that we develop applications yeah. for. So pretty much anything that has a GPS um, or there's also this thing that's c- called like My Location, which if you don't have GPS or um, sometimes GPS is expensive from a power, it's sort of power hungry, so it'll eat up battery faster. So then some people use something that's called uh, My Location, which sort of takes... Um, the different um, cell towers of the mobile phone systems and triangulates your um, location. It's just not as accurate in terms of, you know, it might be plus or minus 500 meters rather than plus or minus half yeah. a meter. Yeah. So as Google determined that this is this whole location awareness mesh with social media, it's not just a gimmick. It is, it's going to be useful. It's going to be real. It's going to be something that we're all going to eventually be using. Um, I, I mean, I certainly believe so. I mean, from my perspective, like, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty heavily involved in kind of the philanthropic arm of Google. And one of the pieces there is this whole idea of like, you know, people uploading information about the environment. Like if you found an issue where there may be pollution or some stream that you see that's running or some rubbish problem or those type of issues, imagine the ability to just take your phone, take a quick um, uh, picture yeah. or a video even of um, that location and have that automatically uploaded so that the community knows about those things. And the, the big issue is, yeah, all these tools are possible right now, but you've got to be kind of like a geek and a tweaker that's yeah. going to go out there and take the picture, then go upload the thing, find the latitude and longitude of location you were in, and then upload and manage all that kind of well, stuff. I, this I, just I, takes the, the, the work out of it. I'd be really interested to see how this works. I've got some serious phone envy going on in the Kiwi <laughs> studio right now. I've still got my old Nokia, but you've brought in the, 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 the flash Google Nexus One. 
Yes, yes, indeed. So I do have it here, actually. Um, and um, yeah, I think we could look uh, across a couple of different things. So, um, so if, if you're um, if you're near your computer, you can click onto the live um, the live video stream at kiwifm.co.nz right now, or you'll be able to see this on demand a little bit later. But Justin has his um, Google Nexus One here in the Kiwi Studio, and we'll be able to actually see what he's talking about when it comes to using Latitude and Buzz and his uh, Google Nexus One. So, um, so run run through some of it. Yeah, us. yeah, definitely. Well, um, so I'll just sort of show, um, we'll just see how, how well we're going to autofocus here. Yeah, there we go. So you can see on the phone itself, um, this is just showing a bunch of the different contacts and different um, icons that I have up here. Um, and I can sort of jump through different areas of the phone. But um, for, the, for the sake of our time and everything, I'm just going to jump straight into Maps. So you see the Maps um, icon down here in the corner. I'm just going to jump into Maps there. And what that'll do is that's actually bringing up kind of like my, my um, live location. And what it's also done here is, so I've got latitude turned on. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here. So it's telling you that you are in Auckland City, yes. New Zealand. Yes, yeah. so it knows, it knows my location. Um, and what it's done here is it's also found um, a mate of mine, Guy, who is also here at the moment. Is he a friend of yours on Buzz? Yeah, uh, so he's a friend of mine on Latitude. Oh, sorry, I'm moving the moving away from where we are. So there are two separate things, Latitude and Buzz, in that respect, where you can have friends that are... Yes, yes. Places. and so, so, yeah, sorry, thanks for, to clarify that. Um, yeah, so Latitude is basically like a social network that's a map-based social network. Um, and so if I've got friends that are part of this Latitude network, they'll show up on the map if I have, like, the layer on so I can look and see who's on. Cool. So, for example, if I, um, as I mentioned before, you know, let's say I fly into Paris, France or something, if I had a friend or a mate who was on um, uh, Latitude, I could just turn on my phone and it would show me, hey, there's some, you know, old friend of mine that's, like, in Paris at the same time. Wow. just happens to be. And so that's, he may uh, even be at, the, at, the, at yeah. the pub down the road. And, yeah, yeah, he could be like just down the, down, <laughs> down the road. Yeah. Nice. So what's great about this, so I'm just zooming in there so you can see even um, a higher detail there, um, which is, so there's Guy, he's in Auckland. And now if I tap on his profile, see he hasn't uploaded a picture yet. Um, but um, if I tap on his profile, um, that'll actually pop up um, all the things that I can do in terms, of, um, in terms of interacting with him. Sorry, here we go. So now what I can do is, so there's a uh, guy, I can show his location on the map, which we already saw, but then I could chat with him because I've got Google Talk kind of bit directly on here. I could dial his phone number to say, hey, let's meet up somewhere, or send him an email, or I could even get directions to his location or even navigate to his location. So cool. we're in, we're in the um, radio station here. We're not going to be able to use the navigation because that needs GPS and you've got to have a you know, direct um, yeah. line of sight to the sky. But we could actually look at the get directions piece. Um, and from a get directions piece, sorry, I'm doing this at a bit of an angle. Um, so yeah, getting directions from my location to um, to Guy Gibbs. Um, there's the sort of focus. Sorry, wait for it to focus. Yep, and then say go. I'm going to say walking directions. Let's go. Well, so um, so it knows exactly where he is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Freaky. <laughs> um, well, again, also remember, this is, um, you have to choose yeah. this. Um, and this is an opt-in thing. You're only it? doing this with your friends. So, like, literally, he's had to accept um, yeah. that I'm a friend of his and that we've, um, that we've done that. Sorry, I'm just... Um, so, n y your boss won't necessarily know where you are all the time. You have to let your boss know that you are. Um, yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah. Um, let's see. So, I'm not having much love here in terms of getting the directions. Let's see if I can... Okay, so here we go. Now it's waking up. So getting driving directions, here we are. Show the directions on a map. Um, I can now go and take those directions um, and, wow. um, and step down and find him cool. down there. So he's down in the CBD of Auckland City. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, very interesting in terms of seeing that kind of integration in terms of that. But what I'd also like to show is um, I'll jump back to, um, to this and I'll, um, I'll, maybe we can have like a live chat um, with him. So um, I'll just say, hey... Um, Let's chat using Google Talk. I'll just sort of show you this as well, which will show us all the things. And you can see I'm saying, hey, can you um, get on um, Latitude so we can have a, um, a quick chat? Um, hello. Um, you are, whoops, are. He's live on the radio. On the air. Whoops, sorry. Not only um, on screen keyboard, but not looking at it at the same time. There we go. So uh, maybe he'll come back and say something smart um, or something silly. So um, could, could you even, like, send a, a photo of where you are? Yeah, and so that's where the interesting component of um, the Buzz piece comes in. So um, now with this kind of tight integration in terms of the way that you can use Buzz to sort of be updating your, your status profile and everything, that information is also tightly linked into this whole ecosystem of tools. 
So you've got this kind of map-based social network. You've got Buzz that allows you to update your status, but Buzz also allows you to upload pictures and contribute the kind of stuff, again, in a location-aware uh, basis. It seems to yeah. me like Buzz is more useful in this mobile context than it is on the desktop at the moment. Well, so Buzz, um, I think there's a number of different, um, there's a kind of spectrum of things that um, Buzz has um, interesting um, going for it. Um, I mean, one piece of it is what we're talking about here, making it a little bit more kind of like a rich media context in terms of microblogging. Yeah. Yeah. But um, so then there's that kind of piece of the location awareness. But then when you're looking at um, Buzz in terms of um, what you can do online, you know, if you're sitting with your PC, what it does is it integrates across all these different services. So again, you know, Google's mission statement is about organizing information, making it easily accessible, making it useful. And so the concept there really is, let's say, you know, I've got um, a Twitter account, I've got um, a Picasso account with pictures or Flickr, whatever it might be. I can pull all those things together in a really easy to use way for the end user as well. Perfect. So well, I think he's come back and said hello to us, but that's about um, as um, brave as he's been.